Hey, this is Cyber Bandage and our project is for Ministry of Defense. The project statement is Deep Learning for Terrain Recognition. Our team leader is Doran N.C. Daniel and our team members are Agumathakshan CSC, Bhuneshwari CSC, Dachana CSC, Balaji AIDS and Ari Prasad CSC. The purpose of our study is, is to show the different properties of the terrain like sandy or slippery or even muddy using convolutional neural network. With this kernel, we have completed working on semantic segmentation. Semantic image segmentation is a task of classifying each pixel in an image from a predefined set of classes. As you can see, the left side image is an RGB image whereas the right one is known as a masked image. It is done by using a pixel matrix. Here each image in RGB image like lady with the purse is marked with the each color as a masked image. Here each number represents a whole object like one as a person, two as a purse. The data set will use a simple image and its corresponding mask image. These are the simple images. These are corresponding mask images. As you can see, the left one is an actual image whereas the right one is a mask image. Here you can see the land is coded as a green and person is coded as a red. The first step in training our segmentation model is to prepare a data set. We will need the input RGB image and the corresponding segmentation image. If you want to make our own data set, a tool like LabelB can be used to manually generate a ground truth segmentation mask. Assign a each class a unique ID in a segmentation image. A pixel value should be denoted the class ID of the corresponding pixel. This is common format used by the most of the data sets and keras segmentation. For the segmentation map, do not use the JPG format as JPG is loosely and pixel value might change. Use BMP or PNG format instead and the size of the input image and the segmentation image should be the same. Packages like NumPy typically used for high level image segmentation. Here it is used for preliminary segment task. And OpenCV is used to load up pre-processed image before segmentation and provide a function for resizing, cropping and color space conversion. After generating a segmentation image, place them in a training testing folder, make separate folder for input image and the segmentation image. The file name of the input image and the corresponding segmentation image should be the same. For this tutorial, we used a data set which is already prepared. You can download it from an aerial segmentation drone data set. We need Kira's model for semantic segmentation which is a computer vision task that involves labeling each pixel in an image with a class label. Training the model using a two epoch, the epoch can be increased for better efficiency. The model is trained using VGG16, visual geometry group with 225 different classes. The training image and the label image are given as input. Now the model is tested against a new input and a segmented image can be seen as a output. As you can see, the left one is an actual original image where rightmost one is an masked image and the centered one is a prediction image which is a produced a segmentation image. Our project use cases, it can be mounted on a scouting or surveillance tool to check the area parameter around the base and it can also be used as a front head navigator. It can also be used in search and rescue operation. It can quickly identify obstacles such as cliff, rugged terrain, especially in a challenging and remote environment. It helps to identify the areas prone to avalanche, landslide, loading, allowing team to make an informed decision about the deploying the rescue. To summarize it, we are gonna see the working flow of our project. The main aim is to locate the terrain and show its property where we use convolutional neural network for image augmentation which gives image semantic segmentation using a predefined dataset. After that, we are gonna train the model. Once it's trained, then we give an input image. For that particular actual image, a prediction image is produced where we can spot the different perspective of the terrain. Thank you.